Hello, I'm Dr. Robert LaBelle, and today we're going to be reviewing the ball home release program for the calf and the plantar fascia and the front of the leg. Initially, we're going to have Arianna demonstrate uh, three stretches for the calf. We tend to do three different angles of stretching for the calf to hit all the muscle fibers. So if we go up against the wall, what we're going to have you do is bring your toes up into the wall, just like that. And the way she's done this is okay, but I would actually prefer what you can see here, and this is a traditional mistake some people make, the toes are being bent. I'd prefer her bend her left knee and get more of her forefoot against the wall. That's going to provide a much deeper stretch. After it's there, all she has to do is straighten out her left leg and come towards the wall, and she's going to get an intense calf stretch. That's looking really good. All the stretching we're doing here, I'd like you to hold for 30 to 60 seconds and do it two to four times a day or as needed. Where the three stretches come in and to hit all the fibers of the calf, I'm going to have you turn your toes out slightly. Perfect. And then come up. And that'll be felt out in here. That's the second stretch. And then turn them in slightly. And that'll be felt more on the inside. The second exercise in this video is a release of the plantar fascia with a tennis-sized uh, ball. We tend to hand out these balls. that We prefer them to be a bit harder than uh, a tennis ball. It's mushy, but it has some good density. So how we release the bottom of the foot or the plantar fascia, Ariana is going to initially put her, basically her big toe on the ball. What this is doing is it's stretching the plantar fascia back on the sole of her foot here. She's going to spend three to five deep breaths in this position. After the fifth breath, she's going to, without lifting her body weight up off the ball, she's going to slowly slide to a new spot. And then she's going to put pressure on that spot and spend three to five deep breaths here. It's important to note that after each breath, when she's exhaling and letting her breath out, she really wants to let that pressure into the ball. She can feel quite a bit of discomfort across the top of the foot because the tissue and the bones are splaying out and that's more than normal. You're going to go through from the toes all the way to the heel in this exercise, moving very slowly, trying to get a release to the entire sole of the foot and spending three to five deep breaths. You will finish this exercise all the way at the heel. Move a bit more forward. And then bear your weight onto it. And you're going to bear weight right onto that heel. And that's a good plantar fascia release. It will probably take close to five to seven minutes. This is an exercise that you will do daily. And you shouldn't be feeling intense amounts of pain, but uh, discomfort is definitely expected with this exercise. The third exercise for today is going to be a release of the muscle group in the front of the leg. It's known as, if we bring your leg out, it's known as the anterior tibialis. A lot of patients uh, come in ex describing shin splints or pain through this region. We're trying to release through this muscle. We'll start by having the ball up in this region here first, and then she's going to slowly move here, and then slowly move here. Once again, three to five minutes of releasing this will work well. So how you do this is she's going to kneel on the ball in that muscle group. You'll notice the angle of her body is such as this. She's not directly on it, which means she's not on the bone. She's right off onto the front slash side, getting a release. She's supporting her body weight substantially because this is a very uncomfortable exercise. And then she's going to slowly move through this. She can go back and forth or she can slowly move through it and just hold some of the trigger points. Like she's doing, she's moving the ball further down her leg, getting a complete release to this tissue. Go slowly into this exercise since this muscle very often doesn't get any massage or doesn't get touched at all, so it'll be quite uncomfortable. And as time goes on, you'll be able to bear more weight into this uh, tissue. These three exercises are really aimed at releasing the overall lower leg and getting you back to functioning as quickly as possible. Thank you.